Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 29th, and it is a chilly, rainy day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. But what are you going to do? So, first order of business I, I want to get to very quickly because I want to make sure as many people see this as possible. I found something out about the notification settings in YouTube. You know, you guys may have noticed lately that you're not getting as many notifications as you used to, or maybe there's things you're not seeing that you used to see. Turns out you can fix that. At least I think you can fix that. So if you, I'm going to put a picture up here, but if you go to the notification bell on, on any video, you can do it on mine right now, and I suggest that you do. If you click on that, so when you subscribe to a channel, you're actually given a default setting for notifications, and that is that center setting that you see here, uh, which is called personalized. The other options are all or none. So if you click none, you're not going to ever see a notification from uh, from one of my videos, uh, which, you know, maybe that's what you want to do. If you click all, you will always see the notifications. So anytime I've got a live stream, anytime I've, I, I put a post up in the community, you will get a notification about that or post a new video. If you click the middle setting, which is the default, so if you sub just subscribe to someone, that's the setting that you have. Uh, that means that YouTube's going to decide what you should or shouldn't see. Uh, well, not I shouldn't put it that way. They're going to decide what you might or might not want to see. Uh, I don't want to attribute any Big Brother type stuff to them without cause. Uh, so they're using your viewing history and your search history and whatever algorithm they have to decide, well, you'd really like to see this live stream, but you probably wouldn't want to see that one. And you may not agree with that. So. I would highly recommend that any channel you subscribe to, if you want to keep up with them, you go into that setting, you click the bell, and you change the setting to all. Uh, and hopefully that'll work. Uh, this is the last live stream that I did. A lot of people said they didn't see the notification. They didn't even see it come up in their in their subscription feed. So I, I did some research on it, and this is the best thing that I've been able to come up with. So hopefully that'll work for you. Give it a try. And let me know if it does if it does solve the problem. Uh, but definitely, anybody that you're subscribed to that you care about getting their their videos, uh, you should change that notification setting. So now that that's out of the way, I got me a uh, old country gentleman here, and McBaron Burley London Blend. Uh, very little of this left, just a couple more bowls full, but it really grew on me. Um, I noticed this morning, and this is this is getting a little dried out because I just kept it in the tin. I know that's bad, but I don't mind dried tobacco. And I noticed this morning when I opened it, um, it very much reminded me of the McBaron Honey Chocolate. Um, they're they're not they're very different blends. Honey Chocolate is a lot of Cavendish. Uh, this is clearly not, so I don't. I, I know they're different, but the certainly the tin note was very very similar, and even the initial light of this uh, reminded me of that blend. So, if you liked this, and you're upset that it's not available anymore, you might give the honey chocolate a try. Um, I didn't like the honey chocolate enough to like really keep it in stock or anything. Uh, this one, like I said, it grew on me. I, I'm not disappointed that I can't get more of it. Uh, but I'm glad that I got the, got the opportunity to try it. And that is my review of McBaron London. <laughs> so it's really been an interesting uh, time. Uh, going into my third week now, so this Wednesday will be three weeks without work. Uh, I am working. Uh, I'm working from home. I'm very fortunate that the job I do, I can continue to do from home and uh, get paid. I know a lot of you guys don't have that luxury, and I, 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 uh, I feel for you. And, you know, fortunately we're seeing uh, the good come out in a lot of people, you know, and, and, and people are helping one another. And I hope that folks that need help uh, reach out and, and ask for that help. Because we're going to get through this together. That's the only way we're going to get through it. 
And one thing I, I wanted to mention today is that I, I really do think it's sort of our responsibility is probably too strong a word because, you know, this is the YouTube pipe community is just this loose association of people that currently agree with one another. So I can't. I, I don't know that we, as a community, quote in quotes, can have an, uh, a responsibility. But I think we should take it as a personal responsibility that we need to share the positive. We need we need to focus on the positive, not to put our heads in the sand and and, and ignore what's going on. But because there's so much emphasis on the negative right now, um, the positive just gets lost in all of that. And the truth is, evil is trying to triumph here. And if we just focus on evil, guess who's going to win? Let's uh, shine a light on the, the good and try to, to do that consistently over the next couple of weeks because we need it. You know, we, we really do need it. And I find myself uh, watching videos and, and I have one of two reactions to them. The one reaction is, oh dear God, this is terrible. And the other reaction is, I feel so good that I saw that video. And it, it seems like there's no middle ground anymore. So let, let's try to stay to the, uh, I'm glad I saw that video, end of the spectrum uh, as a group. And see what we can do. Let's share stories, stories of our, 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 ourselves. Um, maybe stories that have nothing to do with the current situation. Or stories that that have quite a bit to do with the current situation, uh, but they're good. You know, they talk, they show you the goodness in people. Um, I've said enough about it. I think you know what I mean. And I should, you know, having said that, I should now give you a story. Uh, now, I, I had one that I told during my live stream on Friday about uh, someone that left some toilet paper by a car for someone, uh, which was, was nice to see. But I don't want to retell that. It's, it's interesting how when I, when I have been to the grocery store, and I've, I've really tried to limit my, you know, out, outside activities, uh, certainly to places where there's a lot of people, um, and, but, but the few times that I have been to the grocery store recently, it hasn't been the craziness that, that you expect, but it's actually been pretty normal, um, and... You know, everyone's keeping a respectable distance, which is good, you know, it, it's, it's necessary. But I've seen people, like, shouting, do you need me to get that for you? Um, you know, it, the, the self-checkout line, is everything okay, do you want me to get the girl for you? Um, you know, so this, I, I go pretty early in the morning, and we, we actually have a... So the way it works here is our store is open from 6 to 7 a.m., and that's you have to be over the age of 60 to shop at that time. Um, and then at 7 a.m., anybody can come in. So I usually target that 7, 7.30 uh, time slot just because I'm thinking it's not going to be too busy. And uh, so there's still a lot of elderly people there. And, you know, folks willing to help them. But keeping a respectable distance, and when they did ask for help, you know, finding a way to be able to do that without getting on top of the person. And it just, it's good to see that, because obviously we're all concerned about personal safety. And we should be concerned about personal safety, but we also have to be concerned about one another. And, uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I think I'm babbling a bit here and going in circles that I've already gone in, but I just, I find it uplifting to see that, People are still caring about one another, even if they're strangers. So, that will be my uplifting story for today, and I will try to, uh, to have another one for you next week. I've been 
shop updates. Uh, been working on pipes. Scott, if you're watching, your your pipe will be done. I hope today. Um, I was thinking initially when this work at home thing started that I'd have more time to sort of sneak over and work on pipes while I was actually supposed to be working on work. That hasn't panned out at all. In fact, I find that I've got less time. Work is crazy right now. I mean, there, there's it, it's actually... I'm working more from home than I ever worked in work and certainly winding up more than more than eight hours a day and you know I'm tired after that so not getting more shop time I guess is the is the bottom line which is a sad and unfortunate surprise to me uh, so this this week we're just planning to keep on keeping on you know we don't have uh, we're, we're trying to limit our grocery store visits to uh, once every two weeks is the goal. We haven't made that yet. Uh, we have been able to do once a week. We're the kind of people that would go to the grocery store every two days, uh, usually. So for us, that's a big, big change. Um, and it's going well. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's an adjustment, but it, it's, it's working out. So I think... I, I just went on Friday, so I think we're good at least until next Friday. And, you know, that's sort of the big excitement in life right now, is planning that next outing. Uh, other than that, i got I got to clean up our yard, because our lawn guy is going to start very soon. And i got a lot of branches down and stuff like that that I, I haven't been able to get to. And unfortunately, every time I want to do it, it rains. And right now, it's it's been raining. It started raining Friday night, and it's been raining nonstop. So my backyard is like a marshland. To can't even can't even walk across the lawn uh, without sinking in. So I don't know when I'm going to get to that because the forecast is it's going to be raining all the way through the rest of this week. So hopefully, I'll be able to get out there and get things done before he shows up because he doesn't like it when he has to mow over big branches and such. I don't blame him. That's that's not his job. At least that's not what I pay him to do. Uh, and it's good. It's good that he's able to continue to do the job that he does. Uh, it, it, yeah, in his case, he's fairly isolated. He just comes and goes and uh, he will stop and talk to me, but uh, we're, we'll probably not do that as much. I really am amazed and impressed at the guys that are delivering the mail every day, the, the, the folks that are working for Amazon delivering packages every day, um, the police that are continuing to, to be on patrol and interact with people. Um, and of course, all the doctors and nurses out there, paramedics, EMTs, you know, it's priests and ministers that continue to to work with their their flocks. Um, you know, our churches, and I'm sure most churches now are closed uh, to physical visits. Fortunately, we're we're all we're living in an age where that can be somewhat. Um, overcome by digital methods, uh, virtual methods. And last Sunday, last Sunday we, um, I don't, I don't know what to call this. It, you can't, you can't attend mass virtually. So, well, you can, but. Well, anyway, I don't want to get into that. But we watched a Mass uh, that was live, and it was in one of the churches that my wife uh, attended when she was young, when she was a child. And uh, it was it was a very nice experience for her. She felt at home, you know, doing that. Um, but what struck me was 
the, the you know the churches are are closing. There's there's it's so hard for them to keep churches open. This is in uh, just outside of Pittsburgh. They've gone from like having eight churches in this small area to having one. And on a normal Sunday, there's you know maybe twenty or thirty people that attend the the mass. This last week, there were 200 people watching it online. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but it suggests that people are finding comfort in faith, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, maybe it's another silver lining of this, that people are are coming back to, to their faith. Uh, it, it'd be nice to come back to your faith for, for, for less foxhole sort of reasons, but if you get there, you get there, you know. Um, but also, I wonder how much of it is just that it's easier to get up on Sunday morning and watch something on on the on the screen. But there's a a lot that we're missing out on doing that. You know, there there is a very important aspect of of gathering together, and and it, I don't think it matters what your religion is. I think that's just an important part of the worship process is to is to worship with others. Uh, because you're not just praying for you, you're praying for everyone. You're praying for, for your, your brothers and sisters. So to do that in isolation, just the same way you would watch your favorite TV show, I, I just don't think long term that, that makes sense. But right now, it's a blessing. It's a real blessing. So, I hope you're finding blessings in your own life. I hope that you're finding those silver linings and... Uh, I really hope you guys that have the, the time and the ability will share some of those silver linings with us so that we can all um, get through this together. So with that, my friends, I'm going to call this to an end. I hope you had a great weekend and looking forward to a great week ahead. Uh, I will be live streaming solo this coming Friday, uh, so just uh, me and uh, and you. So I hope you'll be able to show up for that. Don't forget to fix the notification bell. Click on it. Click all. Do that for every channel you subscribe to or you're not going to get notifications. And uh, I hope to see you there. If not, I'll certainly see you here next Sunday. So until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Man, said we better accent Chew it to positive live. Mind it the negative and latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between.